Hi ladies, Ali here from Clear Skin and Wellbeing. So today I thought I would talk about the derma roller, but also named as the microneedle. Now I'm also going to show you a demonstration on how I would use it and hopefully that's some use to you. So if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and also please like. Now the derma roller comes in lots of different grades of length of needle if you like. Anything from a 0.2 which is very low all the way up. Now the lower the needle the less likely, the less penetration if you like into the skin. Now I have three derma needles here, derma rollers, and just to sort of give you a rough idea. Now when buying a derma roller it's always best to start off very, very low, and I would suggest something like a 0.2. Now, it won't go completely, it won't go in too deeply into the skin, but so it will be enough to allow for any absorption for any product you're putting and applying on after to just penetrate in a bit deeper than if you were just washing your face and then putting a product on by having a derma roller having a roll with the derma roller it's actually going to penetrate in further. Now I have one here from Environ. Just quickly I'm not sponsored at all by any of these products I'm showing you. Now and if you can see now it's very very fine. Now this is a 0.2 and when you put it onto your skin it's just you can only just feel it but it's great for using I probably use 0.2 probably twice a week and that would just help with any product you're putting into your skin, going onto your skin afterwards, it's going to go in a bit deeper. It's not going to go right in, but it's enough to sort of penetrate in and just perhaps build collagen. Now, when you do get any derma roller, it's always worth keeping the box and always put it back into the box because you want to protect it. Buying a derma roller, you always want to have titanium needles. Having a titanium needles means it's not going to rust and also it's very strong, so it's not going to bend, hopefully. If you do have any bends in any of your derma rollers or micro needles, mi micro needling if you like, throw it away because you don't want anything which is damaged because if you're applying it to your skin and it's not completely sharp, it's going to penetrate into skin at an angle and you may end up with scarring, so you do have to be careful on that. So that's 0.2. Now I do have some other derma rollers I'd just like to show you and this one I bought in HomeSense I think. This is a 0.5 and this is one I would recommend if you really want to build and stimulate that collagen. It goes in a bit deeper than the 0.2. 0.2 is great for a complete beginner. Now if you're using a 0.5 personally I do once a month I wouldn't use it more than once a month. It doesn't need to be more than that. It does go in deeper, so you do have to be careful also on the products you're using afterwards, which I'll go into a bit later. Again, it's in a different packaging, but every time you use your derma roller, you always want to wash it and sterilise it. Now you can buy sterilizer in places like Boots and Superdrugs, but also if you go to a hair salon, um, sorry, a hair suppliers or a beauty suppliers such as Sally's, um, I don't know what the equivalent is in America and other countries, but I'm sure there is. If you can buy some sterilizer, sterilize your the end, and then just run it run it in hot water just to take off the sterilizer afterwards, and then just let it dry naturally. Once it's completely dry, then put it back into its container. You don't want it wet and in a container. So that's just asking for trouble otherwise. Now, I do have another one here, which I did buy, which is, I did buy from Amazon. And I've got to say, after a while, you do get to know the derma rollers and you do get what you pay for. And although this is a 0 0.5, the same as the previous one, this one, when I put this on my face, it definitely feels more scratchy. It doesn't feel, you, can, you get what you pay for. It's not quality, it was cheap, and when I apply it, it doesn't feel so good. I feel, it definitely feels scratchier, and I don't feel it's as good for my skin as, say, perhaps a more expensive one, which it just goes onto skin better. Right, 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I would use a derma roller. As I say, they are named derma rollers or micro needles. You can also buy stamps as well. I don't actually have a stamp, but by using a stamp, it's like almost like a pen, if you like, and it would just go into a certain area. But we're just working basically on the derma roller, derma, the um, derma roller stroke micro needle. <laughs> right. So first of all, what you have to do is make sure your hands are completely clean. Also, have the face washed completely clean. Now, when you've washed your face prior to using your derma roller, you don't want anything like a balm or anything. You don't want to use anything with a residue on your face because whatever you're going to be rollering in is going to penetrate into that skin, into those skin cells, if you like, into the skin and, and absorb. So you want something like a very light cleanser. Um, very quickly, now I've just used this one. Again, Neil's Yard, I love Neil's Yard. And this is a smoothing sunflower cleanser. And it's just for sensitive skin and it's just very light. You don't want anything, as I say, with any residual, no balms, nothing with any perfume, just a very basic cleanser. So the face is nice and washed. Now also, don't put any facial scrubs on or anything like that before you derma roller, because you're, otherwise it's going to make the skin too tender. So you just want it, just a very light cleanse. Now once you've taken off 100% any dirt, any impurities, hands are clean, then you're ready for derma rollering. So the one I'm going to use today, I'm just going to show you the 0.2. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll do a 0.2 on this side and then the 0.5 on that side so you can see the difference. So I've got my Environ 0.2. Now, as I say, this is with titanium needles and the needles are very, very small and a 0.2 I would also put onto the neck as well. I wouldn't personally put a 0.5 on the neck. I find it too scratchy and irritates. And I, I come out in slight hives if you like. But a 0.2 is fine because the skin is very fine. So you don't want anything too penetrating in too deeply. So I would use a 0.2 on the neck. So what I would do first is I tend to start on the chin. And I'll just do this side of the face with this, this one here. Now, a lot of them have different needle amounts of needles on the applicator. I'm not sure how many this one has, but it, it's not a cheap derma roller, I've got to say, but you do, you do get what you pay for. Now, again, I would do small feathering motions. First of all, go up. Now, when you get to this part of the eye, I really, you don't want to go much further than that. You don't want to be applying too much pressure either. If you apply too much pressure, you may, you're going to go in deeper. And you don't really want to be bleeding or anything like that. So you just want very small holes. And what this does, it just has tiny little small holes, little micro channels, if you like, on the skin. So then it's allowing for anything to penetrate. Again, don't forget that ear part's there, which many people do forget. And then just work your way down. Now, once you've got done the up motion, you want to go across. So again, small feather-like motions. I don't like to do big sweeps. I think if you do big sweeps, you could end up with tram lines, if you like. And we don't want tram lines. You don't want any lines on the face. So just very small feather-like motions. Now this derm roller, I think I paid around, I think it was about £80, £85, but for, you know, using every other day, for allowing products to go in, I would highly recommend it. As I say, on these, you don't want to go cheap. Again, here where you get quite a lot of lines, I would go up and go down and across. Now we've gone... We've gone this way, we've gone this way, and now I'm going to go this way. So it's a different angle again. And as I say, just very, I'm just on there. And once I've done that, I would then go again 
last time, just small feather like motions. It really does make a difference on the skin. Now, the only time I wouldn't use a derma roller, um, if you have rosacea or if you have acne, because you don't want to be making the skin, aggravating the skin. So I wouldn't advise this if you have rosacea or acne. If you do, I'd go to a salon and they can advise you better. So I've done that part. Now you can see my face hasn't gone red at all, but I have added some tiny, tiny little holes in there to allow for whatever product I'm putting on afterwards. So now I'm just gonna work this half because I've done that part. So on there here, I would just slowly to say small feathering motions. You don't need to go in deep at all. You don't need to press hard. You may not see much, but it does make a difference to whatever products you're putting on. Now, when it comes to products, um, when you once you've finished derma rollering, you don't want to put anything on which has got perfume in it. And I would actually not put anything on which has any essential oils either. I tend to have something very light. The perfect thing is something like um, hyaluronic acid because that's going to penetrate in and it's and that's not too it's not going to hurt the skin and also it will plump it up more because it allows you know it, it has more than its amount of weight in water if you like so it's going to plump up any wrinkles and this is so good for wrinkles. And then across, different angle. And then another angle there. Right, so that is the, that is the Environ 0.2, very, very light. As you can see, it hasn't made it my skin red at all, but it has put in lots of micro channels ready for whatever products I'm going to put on next to absorb more into the skin. It will only go so far because the needles are very short, but for once, twice a week, it is perfect. Highly recommend. Now, before I put it back in here, it's going to be sterilized. And then again, once it's sterilized, hot water, then I'd let it dry completely before I put it back in its packaging. I'll leave that there for now. Now, the one I'm going to use on this side of, of the face is the 0.5. Now, again, as I said, I did get this one on Amazon and it's perfectly fine. It was cheap and fine, but for me, too scratchy. So I am going to use my one, which I did buy from HomeSense, which was slightly more expensive. And this is the 0.5. Again, titanium needles. Now, again, it's been sterilized, so it's all ready. So what I do, it starts here. So Again, you don't want too much pressure, but just a bit, and just going in small feather like motions. Now, when you do a small feather like motion, you don't want to drag it too much because you don't want to pull at the skin either. Again, by the ear, and then come down. And you could do this probably six times. You don't want to overdo it, um, you don't want to aggravate the skin. Now, I used to have a very a large wrinkle here which has definitely improved since I've done my derma rollering but I also think by using retinol um, but I think this really did help and that was using the 0.5 now I do use retinol well tretinoin and I would not use tretinoin straight after this and I wouldn't advise it it's too strong and it would aggravate so you don't want to be using any strong product. As I say, something like hyaluronic acid is fine. Now I would tend to do this on the 0.5 every, every month. Now when you have derma rollered, as I say, I'll do it in the evening, so it's got the evening to settle in if you like. You really don't want to be applying for the next 24 hours, 48 hours, any foundation or anything. You don't want anything blocking those pores because obviously you've created small little micro channels and whatever you're going to put onto your skin, it's going to go into there. So you don't want block pores. 
so you really want to be um, avoiding that but also it's going to be very sun sensitive so when even if using the 0.2 and particularly the 0.5 you really want to be putting on an SPF 50 when you go outside for at least two or three days as I say the 0.5 I would tend to do this every month now I've gone up I've gone across so now I'm going this way I mean, I'm going slightly faster, but you can go slower. Okay, that's there. It does also even out your skin tone. If you have any spots, the odd spot, do avoid it when you're using the microneedle. Just avoid that area because you don't want to infect it or get any other infection on there. Right, and then I'll do this side here. Now I haven't done the nose yet, so I'll do that in a second. And I didn't do this on the 0.2, but I'll do it on the 0.5. So there and there. I tend to do the nose last, to be honest, because for some reason it does, when I do the nose, it does make me want to sneeze. <laughs> right, and then this angle. So you do lots of different angles. And you can see my skin is slightly redder. I'm not pushing too hard. I don't want to make it bleed. If you do have this done in a salon and they're using something more than a naught, obviously it would be more than a 0 0.5, your skin does bleed, but they do put an antiseptic on and that sort of thing. And it does because the needle is obviously a larger. Um, so there we are. So that's, you see. And then I will start on here. So now this is where I will probably start sneezing. I'll say further light touches, small, you don't want tram lines. Now, price points on these, they range from basically a very cheapy one for, I don't know, 12, 15 pounds to something, you know, up to 400 pounds, if you like. And some of them have lights on them and they do other things as well. Um, I don't think you need to spend that amount of money, but you do want a sort of mid-range one. And if it, you know, a sort of eighty pound, I think you're getting a good quality. Now they tend to last for around. Nose is going to start running. <laughs> it's affecting me now. They do tend to last for around four to five months, depending on how often you use them. Don't really leave them any longer because you, the needles do blunt after a while, even though they're onto the skin. You don't want blunt needles on your skin. Now, this part's here. Okay, just go gently. I will start snivelling. I haven't sneezed yet, it's unusual. You just go very gently on the nose. It doesn't really reduce, it reduces the pores slightly. Not that much, but just a bit. So there we are. So you can see it's just slightly redder. I haven't, I haven't gone in too hard just like that's all you need now after you've microneedled obviously i haven't done my neck today if i am doing the neck as i've just said previously i would only use a 0.2 because you don't want anything too hard um, and then once i've done that you just want to apply a serum now here i've got my trusted garden of wisdom from victoria health and this is hyaluronic acid Oh, snivelling now. So, just a couple of pumps. Don't need much. So now, this is going to penetrate really nicely into the skin. Obviously, more on this side than this side. I say, definitely do it in the evening, not in the daytime. I tend to do this on a Saturday evening, because then I've got Sunday for my skin to settle down. And I don't, you know, because you don't want to be pissing makeup onto it afterwards. Or again, just going back, always put an SPF on for at least a few days and avoid anything like any foundations or anything for a few days as well because whatever you're putting onto your skin is going to go right in. As you'll see, my skin's gone slightly red. And that's why you'd have it on in the evening. And again, if you use tretinoin or any form of retinol to leave off it for a couple of days once you've just done this. 0.5 just going back I would only use once a month 
0.2, you can do it in between a couple of times a week. So there we are. Derma rollering and yeah, microneedling. So I hope you found this really useful. Again, please comment down below, tell me what you've been using and what number and grade and also, you know, how you're finding your derma roller. And if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and please like, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.